Electrical testing is one of the smartest things you can do to assure continued operation of your motors. One of the most basic is the insulation resistance test, which is also referred to as the MEGAR test. This test measures the integrity of the insulation system, sometimes referred to as the ground wall. It can indicate contamination, deteriorating insulation, and of course, a grounded motor. Trending test readings over time will identify changes in insulation and can help plan action before values fall beneath critical limits. But the test is useless unless properly applied. IEEE 43 provides the guidelines for the test, which underwent considerable change in 2000 and was further revised in 2013. For example, most form coil windings manufactured after 1970 should have a minimum of 100 megohms for operation. Again, that is the minimum. Whether in the field or the repair shop, temperature must be considered when conducting an insulation resistance test. With every 10 degree centigrade change in temperature, insulation resistance in life changes by a factor of two. For example, the insulation resistance of a motor recorded at 30 degrees centigrade would read half that in megohms at 40 degrees centigrade. This means that readings taken at ambient temperature must be temperature corrected to 40 degrees centigrade or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Otherwise, they are worthless. As a practical example, a motor is sent out for repair in September when the shop temperature was at 79 degrees Fahrenheit. A reading of 200 mega ohm would be 75.8 mega ohm when compensated to 40 degrees centigrade. Therefore, if the shop does not compensate the reading, a suspect winding could get a pass. Unfortunately, this happens in shops and in the field all too often. Make sure your insulation resistance readings are accurate. Look for ambient temperature, measured resistance, and corrected resistance on your repair report. To learn more about this or other services we offer, visit us at ecoonline.com.